Okay, so here's a lesson for section 6.7. This lesson is on linear systems. So let's get the definitions out of the way first. First of all, what is a linear system? A linear system, here's the definition, is a set of two or more linear equations that are considered simultaneously. So um, if I give you two linear equations and I ask you to consider them at the same time, so I'd like to graph them on the same grid, um, that is now a linear system. What do we want to do with linear systems? Well, the whole point of considering uh, more than one line at once is to figure out where the lines intersect, so to find the point of intersection. So point of intersection is the point where two or more, two or more lines intersect. So if a question asks you um, to solve a linear system, that means to find the point of intersection. It means to find where the two lines intersect. So just once again, a linear system is considering two or more lines at once, and then solving a linear system means to find where those two lines intersect, what is their point of intersection. Um, for the sake of time for this lesson, um, we'll skip the do it now question. Um, if you want, you can do it. I recommend go to jensenmath.ca, um, download this lesson and try this question out. It'll give you a good idea of um, an application type of questions you can do with linear systems and figuring out why you might want to know what the point of intersection of two lines is. Okay, but we'll just skip ahead to the first example. Um, in the first example, what I have here, I ask you to graph two lines. So graph this line and this line on the same grid. So we're considering two lines, two lines at once, so that is a linear system. And then I'm asking you to find out the point of intersection of those two lines. Okay, so the first line, y equals 1 over 2x minus 3. Um, this one's going to be easy to graph because this one's in the form y equals mx plus b. Okay. It's in the form y equals mx plus b. So all I have to do, I can easily pull out my slope and my y-intercept. Remember, the slope is the m value, the y-intercept is the b value. So my slope is 1 over 2, and my y-intercept, my b value, is negative 3. So to graph a line using the slope and the y-intercept, you plot your y-intercept, so it crosses the y-axis at negative 3, and then you use your slope of 1 over 2 to plot more points on the line. So the slope of 1 over 2, I remember the numerator is the rise, the denominator is the run, because I know slope equals rise over run. So that tells me this slope of 1 over 2 tells me to rise 1 and run 2. That means go up 1 and right 2 from my y-intercept. So for my y-intercept, go up 1, right 2, plot another point. And then from this new point, go up 1, right 2 again. And I can continue plotting points um, until I've maxed out my, my grid here. And I can also plot points to the other side of the y-intercept um, by doing the opposite of up 1 and right 2. Um, if I go down 1 and left 2, that'll give me more points on this line as well, but just to the other side of the y-intercept. And there we go. Now all I have to do is connect these points with a straight line, and then I have the graph of the line y equals 1 over 2x minus 3. And there we have it. There's the graph of that line. Now to graph um, the other line, there's going to be um, one other step that we have to do. Um, first thing I want to do, I'll notice this equation right here, x plus y equals negative 6, is not in the form y equals mx plus b. It's not in slope y-intercept form. So what I'm going to have to do, well I guess I have two options. Um, I can rearrange it to be in this form, that way I can figure out my slope and y-intercept, and then be able to use those to graph the line. Or, um, we learned earlier in the chapter, you could find um, the x-intercept and the y-intercept of this line and then graph using those intercepts. Um, but I think I'm, it'll be easier in this case if I just go ahead and rearrange this equation into the form y equals mx plus b. So I need y isolated on one side of the equation, then I need the term with the x and the constant term on the other side. So um, I'm going to isolate this y. So I'm going to move the x to the other side, it'll become a negative x. So y equals negative x minus 6. This equation is now in the form y, oh, I wrote that beside the slope, sorry. I'll write it beside, um, I'll write it beside this equation here. So I'll move the um, x to the other side, it becomes a negative x minus 6. Um, so the y stayed on the left, the negative 6 stayed on the right, and I moved the positive x from the left to the right, it became a negative x. This is now in the form y equals mx plus b. So I can now easily pick up my slope. My slope is the number in front of the x. If you don't see a number, remember there's an invisible 1 there, so my slope is negative 1. My y-intercept, my b value, is negative 6. So um, to graph this line, you plot your y-intercept, so it crosses the y-axis at negative 6. And then my slope is negative 1. Think of that, remember any whole number is over 1. So um, this is my rise, this is my run. A rise of negative 1 tells me to go down 1, and a run of 1 tells me to go right 1. So from my y-intercept, go down 1, right 1. Then from that new point, down 1, right 1, 
and continue, and then to um, find points the other side of the y-intercept, do the opposite. Instead of going down one right one, go up one left one, and keep going, and you'll see where they intersect. Uh, I'll connect these with a straight line, and there's the graph of y equals negative x minus 6, and now the question asked me to find the point of intersection. They clearly intersect right there um, at that point. What are the coordinates of that point? Um, so the point of the intersection, I'll use POI, that's a short form point of the intersection, is the coordinates of that point I just circled. The x coordinate is negative 2, the y coordinate is negative 4. So the point is negative 2, negative 4. That's the point of intersection for that linear system. So that's the solution to that linear system. Negative 2, negative 4. Let's do one more example. Okay. So, oh wait, before we do another example, I'm just going to show you how you can check and make sure that you found the correct answer. Okay. So you can check and make sure that this point is in fact on both of the lines. If it's on both of the lines, therefore that's where the lines must intersect. So we're going to do this algebraically. So we're going to prove that the point negative 2, negative 4 is in fact on both of the lines. So it's good to always check your answer once you have the solution to your linear system. So remember, solution means point of intersection. So to verify that negative 2, negative 4 um, is the solution to the linear system, substitute your coordinates, your x and your y coordinates, into both of the equations to check that they hold true. If both equations hold true when you plug in those x and y values, that means that point must be on both of the lines. Therefore, that's where the lines intersect. So. If my equation is y equals 1 over 2x minus 3, the left side of the equation is here, is y. So I'm going to plug in my y coordinate equals negative 4. The right side of my equation is 1 over 2x minus 3. So that's equal to, so the right side is 1 over 2x minus 3. I'll plug in my x value. So 1 over 2 times, I'll write negative 2, I'll write it as negative 2 over 1 to make the multiplication easier minus 3. 1 over 2 times negative 2 over 1 multiply the numerators. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 2 times 1 is 2. When I multiply the denominators, minus 3. Simplify negative 2 over 2 is negative 1 minus 3. A1 minus 3 is negative 4. Okay, so on the right side of my equation I got negative 4. On the left side of my equation I got negative 4. Therefore left side equals right side. Therefore this point negative 2, negative 4 is on this line because it satisfies that equation. Because when I plug in the values, the left side of the equation equals the right side of the equation. Okay, let's do the other equation. Now let's check and make sure that the point negative 2, negative 4, I'll just write that here so I don't forget. So make sure that point negative 2, negative 4 is on this line now, x plus y equals negative 6. The left side of that equation is x plus y. Plug in your x and y values. So my x value is negative 2 plus y is negative 4, negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. The right side of the equation is just negative 6. Therefore, these are the same, negative 6 is the same as negative 6, therefore the left side of my equation equals the right side of my equation, therefore that point is on that line as well. Since that point, negative 2, negative 4, is on both of the lines, that, therefore that's where those lines intersect. So I've done that question properly. Okay, let's do another example. Example 2, graph y equals 2x minus 2 and y equals x plus 1 on the same grid. So it's asking me to graph a linear system. So it's asking me to graph two lines, that's a linear system. Identify the coordinates of the point of intersection. So in this case, both of the lines are already in the form y equals mx plus b, so this will be an easy one to do. So my slope is my m value, so 2. I'll write that as 2 over 1, so I can easily see my rise and my run. And my y-intercept, my b value, is negative 2. For this line here, y equals x plus 1. Remember, if you don't see a number in front of the x, there's an invisible 1. So my slope is 1. I'll write that as 1 over 1. So I can see my rise and my run. And my y-intercept is also 1. So let's graph these two lines. Let's graph the first line, y equals 2x minus 2. The y-intercept is at negative 2. My slope is 2 over 1. That means up 2, right 1. And I can keep plotting points until I run out of room on my graph. And then to find points to the other side, do the opposite. Instead of going up to right one, go down to left one. And then connect these points with a straight line. And there you go, you have your graph. Okay, let's graph the other line. The other line was y equals 1x plus 1. 
So the y-intercept was at positive 1, and the slope was 1 over 1. That means up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, and keep going. And you'll be able to see where these lines intersect. Um, I can plot points to the other side by doing the opposite. Instead of up 1, right 1, go down 1, left 1. And I can keep going, um, and then I can connect these connect these lines, connect these dots, sorry, the straight line and this is what that line will look like and then where do these lines intersect? They intersect at this point right here that point is at, um, has an x-coordinate of 3 and a y-coordinate of 4 so the solution to this point of intersection is 3, 4 so now all we have to do, let's just verify algebraically to make sure that this is the right solution by plugging in the values for x and y into both equations and making sure it satisfies both equations. That will prove that that point is on both of the lines, which will then prove that that's where the lines must intersect. So, let's do that. So our point is 3, 4. Let's plug in those x and y values into our equation and make sure the left side of the equation equals the right side of the equation. That, so that's verifying that at that point satisfies the equation. Any point on the line will satisfy the equation. So the left side of my equation is y, the right side is 2x minus 2. Left side is y, right side is 2x minus 2. So let's plug in our values. Our y value is 4, so therefore the left side of my equation is 4. The right side of my equation is 2 times x minus 2, my x value is 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4. So the left side of my equation equals the right side of my equation. Okay, therefore that point, 3, 4, is on that line. Let's check and make sure it's on the other line. The left side of this equation is y, the right side is x plus 1. Um, so the y value is 4 and the x value is 3. So y value is 4, the x value is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So that once again, the left side is the same as the right side, so left side equals right side. Therefore, we've done this, que this question properly, okay? So the whole point of just plugging those in, that point into both equations is just verifying that that point is on both of those lines, and that just verifies that that must be where the lines intersect, okay? Um, at this point, go to jensenmath.ca, um, download the worksheet, make sure you try it out, let me know if you have any questions, and that's it for Chapter 6.